78.9% of the accounts that watch my videos belong to someone younger than 35 years old, and only around 3% of my videos are viewed by someone at least 63 years old. I mention this not to give you viewers an idea of the demographics that enjoys my content, but because it likely means that the vast majority of my viewer base is too young to remember a time when refrigerators had latches on their doors instead of magnets. These latches, having the qualities of latches, could only be open from one side, in this case, from the outside of the fridge, which makes sense. After all, why on earth would vegetables inside the fridge need to be able to open the door? This is all well and good until someone crawls inside. Young children would often crawl into the fridge. Sometimes they're playing hide and seek, other times they're just looking for food. To make matters worse, the seal inside the fridge had the dual effect of not only keeping the cold trapped inside, but also of making it harder for sound to penetrate through the door. Meaning when a kid got trapped inside the fridge, no one outside could hear them calling for help. And of children suffocated inside refrigerators, that the Federal Refrigerator Safety Act was passed in 1956, making it mandatory for all fridges made after October 1958 to be easily opened from the inside. You might notice from the screenshot that although there's a decline in refrigerator entrapment deaths after the Federal Safety Act was passed and enacted, they were still relatively commonplace for several years. This is because the average lifespan of a refrigerator back then was around 15 years. And while the Federal Safety Act mandated that all future productions had to have easily openable doors, it didn't require the companies to recall the latch doored fridges. So a family that bought their fridge in 1957, one year after the Safety Act was passed, but also one year before it was in effect, would have likely used their dangerous fridge until 1972. In 1958, a study was done to see how a young child would react when trapped inside a fridge-like container. The Sparknotes version of these findings found that most children instinctively pushed the door as opposed to twisting or pulling, and that the average 3-year-old could push with around 10 pounds of horizontal force, while the average 5-year-old could push with 21 pounds of horizontal force. It's not exactly the most ethical experiment but a follow-up was done with the parents of the children in the experiment, and they found very little obvious residual psychological effects from the experiment. Finally, a fun bonus fact for all the people who watched this until the very end. You all remember the iconic DeLorean time-traveling machine from the Back to the Future franchise? Instead of a fancy sports car, the original time-traveling machine was going to be a Coca-Cola-powered refrigerator. The idea was scrapped because they were afraid that children playing pretend time travel would accidentally lock themselves into fridges. And also because it made logical sense for a time traveling machine to also be mobile. <laughs>